Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. Well, what we're gonna do today, guys? Well, you can see I've been to my shopping place again. What's that shopping place? You haul it off, you can have it. <laughs> my favorite place to shop. But I've had these for a while from one of my old shopping sprees. This is parts off of a trampoline. Got some old bed railings somebody was going to throw away. But today I come across some rabbit pins that a fellow was wanting to get rid of. Now he didn't let me have them to haul them off, get them for free deal. I had to give him a little bit of green for that, but that's all right, because they some pretty good cages. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this trampoline frame, and I'm gonna weld it together here, and we're gonna make us a stand out of these bed frames and this trampoline frame. We're gonna make us a stand right here with some legs for my quail pen or rabbit pen, whatever I end up using it for, be sitting up high. And then I'm probably going to put a little top on it with a piece of tin. Guys, this is the reason people throw away a lot of stuff. Well, if you're going to build stuff, by the time I went and bought the metal and bought the wire and bought the little wood to build this cage and this footy, this uh, stand here, I'd probably have 200 bucks in it. Easy. And that's if you go buy it in a whole roll of wire to build if you ain't needing to build a bunch of pins and you just buying the length you need you may end up with more than that in it but you can take this ain't nothing wrong with this metal just an old trampoline frame and i'm gonna just take some of the pieces and put them together and we're gonna tack weld them together with that welder and we're gonna make us a good stand Get you a dollar can of black spray paint from the dollar store and she'll be looking good. Now, I don't know if you've seen my video. I know y'all can see that right over to the side, I believe. That sink and that stand is on. Now, that stand is on. It's built out of just some old metal frame that was off of a computer desk. I picked up somebody was throwing away. Took it apart, threw the old wood away that was on top of it, it wasn't no good. Then I welded them frame together. That old sink, somebody was remodeling a house, they was going to throw it away, and it's a good stainless steel sink. The faucet still works, and I got it fixed where I can hook a water hose on it. Got me a good sink that I can move around outside out here when I'm wanting to clean quail and rabbit to keep them making a mess up, up there where we cook at. So right now I'm going to get to work. You got one piece here, we're gonna start out just like that. I'm gonna tack weld it together. On the trampoline frame here, you can see the way the curves, they all curve one direction. But these little pieces ain't welded on these trampoline frames. You can knock that piece right there off. Turn this leg around so it'll match the other leg. And drive that right back down on there. I don't know about that left-handed driving. And these little pieces here was the little extensions that come up from the leg going up to the top. They already cut the width I need them. Or close enough for what I'm doing. So we finna tack weld these together real quick. And then we'll go from there. Now I'm just eyeballing this stuff. This is just a rabbit cage and a quail cage. So them rabbits and quails, they don't care if everything's perfectly straight and level. As long as it holds them up and they get out of the weather and they got food and water. Ain't that right? That's close enough to me. Right there. 
こうやってgo crazy welding this stuff. You can just take it a couple times in each spike and when it's tied all together it ain't going nowhere. Guys, most time you riding down the road you see one of these old trampolines sitting out in the yard and the, the little netting parts done tore up on it fell through. You pull in there nine times out of ten, they'll tell you if you haul it off, you can have it. They just want it out of their yard. I think this is the third trampoline frame I've got this year. You go back and look through some of my videos, you'll see the two different pins I built out of them. We're going to take our little grinder, cut this bed frame apart. This hood don't want to stay up, do it? Guys, I got another welding helmet in there, but I like this one because it's the auto darkening. But I broke the little clip in there, and that's why it won't stay up. I can't tighten it up no more, and it won't stay up. It's aggravating, but I like it better than the other one. All right. Let's just see what this is going to, going to look like. Guys, that's what it's gonna look like, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run a 
piece of what they call plumber's tape, which is a metal strap. Put a screw right here and go around, screw it on the other side around here and that's that end, that way it just can't slide off. But right now I'm finna put a, I got a piece of pipe here on the ground cause I don't wanna use my angle iron off that bed frame. Cause I got enough of it to build another stand for one of my shorter cages over there. So I'm gonna weld a piece of pipe down here at the bottom. And then I may have to put a piece at an angle as a brace. What I like about building stuff out of this old metal like this, this is thin and light, but yeah, this gonna last forever. And I say forever, that'd be forever to me, it'll outlast me. To where if you built a frame out of wood in two or three years, it's gonna be rotted. Alright guys, I don't think that's going nowhere. I don't think it needs no braces. I'm going to strap my cage down to it. No, I ain't, ain't going to strap my cage till I get it out there where I want it. That way I can tote one piece at a time. Let's see here. How am I going to do my top? Let me go get a piece of tin. Put that piece of tin right on there just like that. And I cut it off of there. Cut me six little blocks. Put me a screw through that block. And it'll squeeze it between that wire. And that's going to be my rabbit or quail cage. All I need to do now is get me a can of paint. Paint her up. So let me cut my...
pin off here. Guys, I am gonna go on and strap this cage before I put the T in on top, and then when I get ready to move it, I can take the forks on my tractor and just pull up under here and lift it up and move it all around there at one time. But what I got here, this is called plumber's tape. It's just a little metal strip with holes in it. Pull it right around there. Do that four times and she ain't going nowhere. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rip me two boards here about an inch and a half wide, stick them in here, inside the cage, put a screw to the top, and it'll squeeze this tin to that wire, and then it can't go nowhere. I'm probably gonna put one about right here and one about right there, and that's all it's gonna need. Can't blow the tin off, the wind gets hard enough to blow the can off, it's gonna blow the whole cage over anyways.
wasn't too bad. Guys, I always be in these corners right here. That way, won't nobody walk into the edge of that tin and poke theirself. Alright guys, there you is a finished rabbit cage or quail cage or whatever kind of cage a stand built out of another man's trash. Trampoline frame, an old bed frame, and a piece of an old pipe. I got two more of these to build. I think I got enough stuff to do them. But basically got two more to build just like this. Once I get them built, I'm going to get me some black spray paint, and I'm going to paint all the metal work and this bottom wood around it. But I appreciate y'all watching. I hope this gives some of you some ideas how you can recycle materials, get some stuff that people don't want, save yourself a little money, and make some good products out of it. Because like I said, this here is going to outlast any kind of wood stand you build. I don't care if you build treated. This here is going to last longer. But I appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Hope you have a great day. See y'all next time. Alright guys. Well I had enough materials here that I built to stand for two of them. The two long cages. I got two more short cages. But I'm going to put them together and make a long cage. But I really don't need them at this time. So I'm just stopping right now with these two. And that's what they turned out to be. Now, how many rabbit cages you gonna see with that pretty curved legs like that? It looks good, don't it? <laughs>